My name is John Eiking Sr. I'm a local entrepreneur, not quite retired, and I like investing my savings in different uh, organizations. New Dawn is number one with me. It's already proven to the track record of the last four or five years. It gives people a good dividend and allows them to get their money out uh, after five years, but it's also an opportunity to reinvest it. And the most beneficial part of this investment from my perspective is that we get a tax credit and also protect it to my RSP. So go to it, folks. I'm Julie Kerwin. And I'm Chris Milburn. We're investing in New Dawn for a couple of reasons. Um, firstly, this, this is a no-brainer to me financially. Not only do we get a 35% tax credit right off the bat, but if we keep our money in for five years, we get an extra 20%. And that's not even to mention the regular tax credit we get for investing in an RSP. So right off the bat, uh, you know, this is a wonderful uh, tax bonus, but the money is going into a really, really solid fund. New Dawn is not investing in high risk enterprises. Uh, this money is sticking around and is giving us great rates of return year by year. And uh, the other thing we like about New Dawn is the fact that we are keeping our money in the local economy. So we're investing in something that um, from a financial perspective is pretty solid, but we're also uh, investing in our community. And, uh, you know, rather than complaining that jobs are moving away from Cape Breton and, and uh, you know, our young people are moving away, we feel like um, we're, we're keeping the money locally, creating local jobs, uh, boosting the local economy, and and not putting our money into things that we don't believe in. Yeah, and also as, you know, as physicians and people who care about our, our community and our health, it was upsetting to us year by year to see that our money that went into mutual funds was being invested in things like cigarette companies and big chemical companies and agribusiness, things that we really wouldn't believe in or contribute to if we had control over money. By keeping our money locally here in New Dawn, we feel we have control over, over it again. We've been very pleased with our investment and uh, we're going to do it again. Hi, I'm Carrie, and when our family invests in New Dawn Holdings, we get a great return on our retirement investing. New Dawn Holdings is run by wonderful people and we're happy to contribute to our community. Hi, my name is Andrew Link, and Carrie and I live here in Cape Breton and have raised our family here. Every year about this time, we have to decide where we're going to invest our retirement savings. Nowadays, you can invest just about anywhere, China, Europe, the United States. But we live here in Cape Breton, and we really believe in Cape Breton's future. And we put our money where our mouths are, and we invest every year with New Dawn Holdings uh, because it invests in our local community and it makes it grow and it's all about the future. Hi, my name is Steve Lilly. I'm president of Protocase Incorporated, and I'm also the chair of New Dawn Holdings Limited. Really what it comes down to is how much uh, are we as investors willing to risk and what our tolerance is for that, and what we really believe we can get in terms of security and investment. So when I look at, at New Dawn, for instance, um, how do I measure risk on that? Well, first of all, it's not a publicly traded company, but really at the end of the day, what I want to be able to see is that I'll be able to pull my investment or be able to redeem my principal investment at the end of the five year period. So the question is, do I have any confidence that in five years time I'll be able to do that? And the way I look at it is I look at the history of New Dawn. Uh, New Dawn has got a 30 year history of uh, operating good businesses in this community. Uh, it's a profitable organization, returns a good, uh, produces a good return to investors. So when I look at that and I say, okay, based on its history, is, what's the likelihood that New Dawn is going to be around in another five years, in 10 years, 15 or the next 30 years? And I personally think they're pretty good. And therefore, I see no reason to think that uh, putting my money or an investment into New Dawn, uh, New Dawn Holdings, is, is, it certainly is a, a good investment, a good place to put it. My name is Chris McDonald and I teach at Cape Breton University and the reason why we decided to invest in New Dawn Holdings is because we like the idea of the money staying on the island and the idea that through investing we're helping our own community and through the dividends we're getting something back from the community as well so it's very reciprocal. I'm Heather Sparling and I also teach at Cape Breton University and I was really taken by Rankin McSween's presentation to us 
when he was talking about how New Dawn would be able to take advantage of the money invested in New Dawn Holdings in order to do more for the community. They're already, of course, involved in community economic development and providing for needs and services in the community. But then also, not only would we be investing in New Dawn through this uh, investment, but then New Dawn would not be required to borrow money from a bank and pay interest to some central bank somewhere else in North America. So we felt that we were investing in the community in a couple of different ways. And it is really nice to get a regular dividend check as well, so then we can actually see quite clearly that our investment is working on a regular basis. And it's really nice to know where the money is going, because when you invest in mutual funds, you often don't know what you're really investing in, and this way we really do see the results of our investment. And we didn't need a medical and no salesperson visited.